Hey folks, Aaron here from Aaron's Practical Reviews. So these are the everyday photos that I would take. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. I didn't do anything special. This is exactly how I would normally go about shooting photos and what I use the camera for. So we start with wildlife, then we go to portraits, then we go to landscape. Now in the wildlife, the initial portion of this, you're going to see it, everything is taken on the Tamron 150 to 600, which is a, actually a fairly slow focusing lens. So the camera does most of the work. And I thought it did, did a excellent job compensating and following the birds and the subjects in the frame and utilizing the lens, which is actually a fairly slow focusing lens. Did a great job focusing. It just, it, it really made it much easier, much more pleasant. Now for the portrait section, that's super easy. I mean, I was shocked at just how easy it was. Actually, towards the end, you'll see a picture where I handed the camera to my daughter and I said, just point it at me get me in the frame, you know, get me on the, the screen and take a picture. And my nine-year-old daughter who never used a camera before did it. And it, you'll see, it, I mean, it's ridiculous how easy this camera is to use. And then uh, the landscapes, that's not really my strong suit, uh, but I think I got some pretty nice shots here. And, it, it, you know, it's, it's landscape. It's really, that's probably the easiest of the bunch to take shots of as far as the settings and stuff. Uh, you know, that's just basically on your eye, but uh, it still does a pretty good job. And, and the main thing I wanted to know was, is 20 megapixels enough? That's the whole point of what all this was. I was testing it out to see, and I think... Um So my conclusion on the 20 megapixel sensor is that it is enough to do what I like to do with my photos, which is occasionally crop. Uh, mostly I'm cropping wildlife if I'm cropping. And I wanted to have that extra leeway, like I said in previous videos, to crop. So I need it to be at least have enough megapixels there and at least, you know, allow me to, for some cropping, especially for the birds and the, you know, the osprey the the eagles the hawks the stuff that i like to photograph uh that's a lot of fun for me as far as portraits go you know you're totally fine with a little creative crop to adjust the composition a little bit that's no issue at all uh as for landscape same thing typically with a landscape or a portrait you're not cropping a ton anyways you're doing kind of a little creative crop to adjust the composition just a little bit 
that I've found that the the megapixels are totally fine for that. So uh, really happy with those findings. Uh, that was my biggest concern with this camera um, and the overheating, which wasn't a concern until everybody panicked about it. But I haven't had any issues with that. So that's good. This, that's good as well. Uh, one thing I will note is that when I'm taking photos, the battery lasts pretty much you know as long as I'm out shooting. As soon as I shoot, start shooting 4K video, uh, like I do in the viewfinder occasionally of my subjects that I'm taking pictures of, the battery goes quick. 4K at 60 frames a second, especially, just kills the battery. Just something that just something to think about. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to share information as I come across it with this camera. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully that was helpful for you and uh, subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm going to make a video on my favorite settings and the layout of the buttons and how I like it. Just uh, in case anybody's curious about that, because uh, it is pretty complex with the amount of options you have. And, the, you know, I've really had to dig through to find some ways to change it to shoot exactly the way I like. And it's so there are so many options that it's easy to miss something. So I'm going to share mine here soon. I'm going to make another video. That'll be a whole separate video. And, you know, hopefully that could maybe help somebody else who may be struggling with some of this, the, the layout of the buttons and the settings and stuff like that. But that's it, folks. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and uh, have a fantastic day.